Today we're going to be looking at brace expansions and uh, in particular we're going to be looking at string lists. Um, and I'm going to be doing a few tutorials here on brace expansions. Um, something that I know about but I never think about using when I need to, you know. Just one of those things that I need to start using more regularly. Anyway, real quick and simple here. Uh, braces look like that. And by putting stuff in them, you can do things called brace expansions. And in this case, as I said, we're working with string lists. So what I can do is I can go echo and I can put braces like that and I can put words in there. I'll put, use names in this case. I'll say Mike, um, Tom, and um, John. Separated by commas, when I hit enter, it prints out each name because we have a list of strings, each one of the divided by, uh, separated by commas. What we can do is we can append stuff to each of those words just by appending them to the braces here. So if I wanted to put, I'll, just, uh, I'll put an O here and I'll put an O here just as an example, you can see each name now has an O on either side of it. Now you can't have a space. If you do a space, you can see that O is now considered another string. It isn't part of our list. So what we're going to do here in this simple example is I'm going to um, use each of those names uh, possessively, uh, adding an apostrophe S. Now we are using the echo command and the apostrophe or single quote, depending on how you want to look at it, um, can, is a special character. So we have to say backslash uh, before it so that Echo knows that this uh, single quote is actually going to be used as an apostrophe in our string here. And we can say after that house. And now when we hit enter, well, that doesn't make sense. Forget the house part. We're going to hit enter and you can see Tom's, uh, Mike's, Tom's, John's. Uh, if I do put house after, you can see it doesn't quite work. It doesn't put house as, you know, it doesn't do Tom's house, Mike's house, John's house. And um, we'll look in the future on how to uh, use the string list. And really, we've done that in the past, but I know I have a lot of videos. And you may have not watched them all, so it doesn't hurt to touch on stuff from the past. But this is all we're going over in this tutorial. And once again, um, just adding something to the sides of the braces like so you can append to each word or each string in our list using expansion brackets or sorry brace expansion uh thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's chris with a k there's a link in the description and i hope that you have a great